In 1990, the Dude Fire took one of our precious historical monuments that we have here in Rim Country, which was the Zane Gray Cabin. Right here in Green Valley Park, though, we have completely built a replica of that cabin for all of our visitors to come and see and immerse themselves in the great history that is Zane Gray. I'm Sandy Carson, and I'm president of the Northern Gila County Historical Society. The Northern Gila County Historical Society's mission basically uh, takes in about a 50-mile radius, and the main purpose is, is to preserve the history of basically that 50-mile radius, radius, mostly Payson, uh, and then to present that information in exhibits uh, to our visitors that come from all over the world. Zane Gray came to the Payson area first in 1918, uh, and he met a family uh, called the Hots. And Babe Hot was uh, his hunting guide from then on. He actually then bought some land from Babe Hot uh, up under the rim, about 18 miles northeast of here. And by 1921, uh, the cabin was up. And Gray came back most years in the fall for hunting. He loved what he saw. Uh, he liked the people that he met and those people that he met ended up in his books. Gray was a very prolific writer. He wrote 23 books set in Arizona, and 13 of those books were set up here in Rim Country. We are in the Zane Gray cabin. Uh, this is a replica that was built in uh, 2005, mainly by the efforts of uh, the Zane Gray Foundation. Uh, they raised the money, they, they built the cabin on Historical Society land. They furnished it with, with uh, things of the era, and um, then turned it over to the Historical Society in, in 2011. Inside the Zane Gray cabin, you will see artifacts and uh, furniture, very much what like Zane Gray saw. I frequently tell people that uh, if Zane Gray should happen to walk in, he would recognize his cabin. The cabin was abandoned for over 30 years. And in 1963, I believe it was, Bill Gettle from the, the Valley uh, bought it and restored it. It was basically falling down. And he basically rebuilt it on the same site. Um, eventually, it became a private museum. And then in 1990, uh, it was one of the fatalities of the Dude Fire. We aim to not only preserve the history of the area, uh, but to make it accessible to our visitors. Uh, we have nearly 6,000 visitors a year. Jane Gray draws a lot of them, uh, but almost everybody then goes to the Rim Country Museum, and, and uh, we think they leave pretty happy with, with what we do. The Rim Country Museum is somewhat chronological. It starts with the prehistoric peoples that were here in great numbers in the, in the 1200s, but people have been here for about 11,000 years. Uh, we move on to the Tonto Apache people that moved into this area sometime in the 1500s. Obviously, we have to do the rodeo because we're the world's oldest continuous rodeo. Uh, a little bit about mining, uh, a little bit more of Zane Gray over there. And then upstairs, we have a pioneer kitchen and ranching. Of course, ranching was the economy of this place for a very long time. The Zane Gray Cabin and Rim Country Museum are uh, west on Main Street, uh, situated in beautiful Green Valley Park, uh, right beside the lake. Rim Country Museum and Zane Gray Cabin is open year-round except for major holidays, closed on Tuesdays and a half a day on Sunday.